You talked about um, making EMC the platform of choice for the service providers who share oh. your vision. Yes. What do you mean by that last part? Well, so, you know, what we're really hearing from customers is they want the choice, agility, and flexibility, and ultimately control about where they put their applications and the ability to move that application workload and data around, right? They might put it in their own internal data center. They might find a service provider that offers better value or uh, a piece of functionality that they like, but then maybe they want to move it to a different one. So it's this whole notion of portability as part of that flexibility, control, and choice. And, um, and so what we want to do is help enable a set of uh, service providers to deliver on that vision. We call that the hybrid cloud. Customers being able to put a private cloud in their data center, have a choice of multiple public clouds, but public clouds that have a compatible management security framework where they can actually move those applications around and not be in a public cloud environment that once you put the data in there, you can never get it back out. And so that's really what customers yeah. want. The Roach Motel scenario, uh, is we, the Paul. Hotel, Hotel California. California. Sorry, Roach Motel is my <laughs> term, not, not yours. But so, now Joe Tucci said this morning, the number one question he gets is, how come your storage isn't as cheap as Amazon's? And I thought he had an interesting answer, and I would like to get your take on that. Why is that? Well, you know, so uh, the, the bottom line is, you know, most of uh, our customers' IT shops today have just grown too complex too many different architectures, too many uh, different types of technologies trying to be all integrated. Uh, you look at some of these newer service providers and, and especially some of the public cloud, like Amazon, you know, they have just based it on one architecture. It's x86, it's very simple, uh, but also the service levels you get out of uh, somebody like an Amazon is, well, it'll, it'll be this and I'll do my best. Uh, and, you know, so to be fair, part of the complexity that our customers have in their IT shops is because they've worked for years and years, in some cases decades, to get to five nines availability and reliability and data integrity, and these systems are robust and they don't go down. Well, this is a new world now. So the fact is that service levels are different, the technology is much more standardized and, and, uh, and common, and so what we need to do is help our customers get to that end result. Uh, and uh, But if they find uh, some compatible service providers that are able to do it better, faster, cheaper, then we'll help them get there too. Now, uh, changes in what was known as Acadia, it's now VCE. Bring us up to date, how's that all going? And talk about those changes a little bit. Yeah, so VCE is uh, a little over a year since we've announced it. Uh, and uh, you know, we started with the premise that converged infrastructure is something that customers would become more and more interested, not wanting to deal with every knob and dial of the plumbing. Uh, but have compute, network storage, pre-engineered, integrated, optimized, working together for a large amount of virtual machine types of workloads. Uh, we call that our VBlock infrastructure package. Uh, and uh, you know, we thought in the early days that uh, customers would want to have a whole bunch of services around it. Fact of the matter is, a year later, customers are just buying the VBlocks by themselves, either integrating themselves or using uh, either EMC services or Cisco services or mostly partner services to deliver that capability. Uh, you know, the, the demand has just exploded. Uh, customers have shown huge amount of interest and uh, more and more customers and service providers are actually basing their private cloud infrastructures on VBlock. So your, so your service providers must love that, that change, right? You're basically saying, hey, go to them for the service. And we're not right. going to compete. We're not going to compete. So, well, then my last question, which I guess you just answered, is do you see yourselves going out someday and buying a services company like, uh, like Delbot Perot? We're a technology company, first and foremost. Services to us is a means to an end. It is to help our customers get the maximum use out of our technology. Uh, we are an enabler. We're an enabler to our customers. We're an enabler to our partners. It is our intent to continue to invest he very heavily and be the best technology company in helping customers on their journey to the cloud not compete with them. Excellent. Howard Elias, thanks for spending some time with us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Right. Appreciate it. Thank you. Is it, is it, did you hear that? Is it hard to explain to analysts the complexity of EMC as a whole? Well, I think, you know, uh, as the, we're helping our customers on a journey, EMC's been on a journey. And our journey has really been from uh, an enterprise storage provider to uh, an, a full information infrastructure provider and now cloud enabler. Uh, but, you know, we've been working with this analyst community for a large number of years. Most of them have 
uh, given us uh, help and coaching around our transformation, have witnessed the transformation, given us a lot of feedback uh, over the years. And so, you know, I, I do say, for the most part, they've been with us every step of the way. But, you know, when you do sort of take a, a half a step back and you look at where we are today versus where we were just seven years ago, it is pretty astounding. Okay, great. Right, hey, thanks for